Alright, so, hi guys, today we're going to be doing a player review on, well, new for me, not that new for everyone else, but, uh, Bustos, he's got a very nice looking base card, obviously, um, obviously you want a high pace and a fullback with, uh, wingers these days, he's got that, he's got good dribbling, decent defending and physical, very good passing. Obviously, shooting's good considering he's a fullback. Don't really need it that much. Four star skills, three star weak foot, high low work rate. Obviously, depends how you like to play with him. It is pretty good. Ha um, he's. I would recommend an anchor to max out his pace. Uh, give him the defending boost. Give him the extra strength just to tip him over 80. He's got 99 stamina, so he's not going to be tired during the game. The agility is very handy for dealing with like being able to turn quick when <clears throat> pacey wingers try and get around you. So his agility plus his pace is going to make him lethal for wingers. Like he's going to be counting them quite a lot. He's got very very good passing stats. Um, good composure as well. He just looks like a nice card. He's got early crosses, speed dribble, a trait. Only downside to the card. There's two things. One, I'd say obviously the league. That's just obvious. But I would also say height. You don't really feel affecting it too much because he's got decent strength and aggression and all that still. But his height definitely could, you know, it could definitely sway a one on one, etc. But no, I've slapped him into my team. Um, ignore Henderson and Pickford. I need to get. Um, <clears throat> I need to get a different goalkeeper and Henderson's only there until I get my Hullet with Icon Sops because he just links it up to Rooney etc. But yeah, let's go and hop into a game. Alright, let's have a look at this guy's team. Oof, um, it's a nice team, but it's beatable though, it is beatable. Nice team still though. Ooh, the only downfall to the team in my opinion, obviously they could play better in the game, is his left side with Kossa and uh, Kolarov. I mean Kolarov is actually quite good, I've used him more towards the start of FIFA. Ah. But here we go. Here's a chance to see my stuff. He's got a lot of pace. There you go. Yeah, he's got a lot of pace, which does help him a lot. And the aggression definitely makes him, you know. The aggression obviously means he is going to be going for the ball a lot more. Even, you know, he's got a high low work rate towards the attacking. He is always going to be going for that ball. As you saw, he got the ball again there. He's actually making an attack. Because he's got good enough stats to actually get up front if necessary. Like, look, he's doing the dribbles, getting the ball up front. And he's got very good passing stats. He feels very smooth on the ball too. Um, he does seem like a player that someone would like want in their team. But the only situation when doing his SBC, it's quite hard to do because he doesn't really have a price in the sense it's more of whatever you can get it because these players are like not extinct but there's not as many of them making you know making a uh, how do I explain fuck it out um, basically because they're hard to find the players you could end up getting the SBC like for only like 60k because some of the players you can get for a few hundred coins but a few of the players I had to buy for about 8k or even one of them I had to buy for 10k because there's only two on the market both for 10k that's the only issues you really have with doing the SBC 
you you don't really the packs aren't worth it they're nothing to do with packs you wouldn't want to do this SBC specifically hoping the packs would give you coins back I mean the best thing I got was a board and it was Vrama Ganoli um, the packs are, you probably overall get about 10k back so I mean it's still good considering that the SBC isn't that much in itself it's only like 80k to 100k go on Bustos good challenge from him there that was a good goal to be fair to him but um, no, I do recommend this card. He is a pretty nice card. Ooh, come on. Bustos being really solid this game. Here, he did a one muck up where I could tell it was from his height and a little bit of a lack of strength due to his height. But apart from that, he's actually outstrength a lot of players. And a lot of players these days just play with very pacey players that necessarily aren't the strongest anyway. So most of the time he is going to win that one-on-one -on -one situation. Especially with the pace as well. If they do have that, you'll be able to keep up. If they're slow and strong, you've got the pace to get in front of them and get the ball off them. Meaning, even with a lack of strength, he is still going to be a very solid fullback. Uh, he's even made a good attack or two for me so far this game. Which does show that he is able to get up if you like to play with more attacking fullbacks or if you wanted him as maybe a wing back. He can perform. Oof. Good. Good block there, Sanchez. Jesus. But um no, I would definitely recommend him. Oh, go on, lad, drop. Oh, go on, lad. But um no, I would say get him yeah I, I really do like him and I'm happy I've done him uh, at the end of the day your decision I've told you all I can tell you but if I were to go back in time and rethink the SBC I'd fucking do it because you know what he's a great player great little uh, player to fit straight into my team I've got a Bobby Moore next to him well originally I had him in a 4-5-1 and he would have got the link to Bobby Moore and Messi because he's Argentinian but when I change formation I was worried I wouldn't be able to fit him in but I've got my Raya card and my Bustos next to him making it so I literally don't literally he's got two icon links which means no one needs to link to him which does help a lot with his uh, league so no all right well GG hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it helped in any shape or form um but yeah i hope you enjoyed see you next time